What's good people? My name's Marchi. Welcome back to the Underdog channel, the channel that explores mental, physical and financial well-being. You know, it's all about bettering yourself. You know, you've got to keep keep climbing. Um, yeah, so more on the channel, we've been talking about fitness so far. Um, I thought it'd be a good idea to drop a video about Bitcoin. So um, that's what we're going to be talking about today. You know, how it started, uh, where it is now, where I think it's going to be going in the future. Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling fresh. I've done my morning workout today and I've had my porridge. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency, a virtual currency designed to act as money and a form of payment outside the control of any one person, group or entity, and thus removing the need for third party involvement in financial transactions. So essentially, Bitcoin is a decentralized cryptocurrency, meaning that not any one person owns Bitcoin. It's it's owned by the people. Um, including the miners. So you've got miners all over the world that mine the Bitcoin. There's not one company, there's not one CEO, there's not one group or entity, um, as it's described here, that um, that can control Bitcoin. That's what we mean when we say decentralized. So if you're looking at the legacy system, you know, it's controlled by the banks, by the government. Um, you know, when they're inflating currencies, inflation's at, uh, at an all-time high right now. And we've got no control over it. You're talking about fiat currencies. You're talking about, you know, the pound, the dollar, the euro. They're all known as fiat currencies. But you look at Bitcoin, it's a decentralized cryptocurrency and it cannot be inflated. It is a deflationary currency. So when I talk about miners um, getting 6.25 uh, Bitcoin for mining Bitcoin as a reward, the fact that it goes down after 2024, after the Bitcoin halving, that reward goes down to three point something shows that it's a deflationary currency. So the value of Bitcoin in theory should rise. So over time, and we've seen it over time, you know, um, born about in 2009, under a cent, under a penny, you know, like by so many decimal places, you look at it now, $20,000 today, and that's in a bear market. Talking more on, on Bitcoin, um, I first got into Bitcoin in 2020 when I started looking at it. And um, so right now we're, we're in the depths of a bear market. You know, it's quite brutal. And, um, you know, it, it is affected by geopolitical um, news. So the news on the war with Russia and Ukraine, you know, um, the pandemic affected it. So, so yeah, this is the, the stock to flow model by Plan B. Um, you know, follow him on Twitter at 100 trillion USD. Uh, bear in mind there are a lot of scam artists out there, so make sure you're following the right one. He hasn't got a blue tick um, for for whatever reason, but yeah, I look you can see um, Lethal B laugh my ass off from what he's saying here, because what Plan B's saying is he still thinks the stock to flow model is valid, even though it didn't reach the 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 target that he thought it would. Um, he's got a new price prediction now. You know, Bitcoin will be between a hundred thousand dollars and a million dollars in twenty twenty five. You know, basically a five to fifty x from here, from the nineteen thousand dollar range. We're currently at twenty thousand dollars right now. Um, so it's it's Bitcoin is there's a lot more potential upside than downside. I would say as We've already come down so much, you know, the all-time high is $69,000. If we're at $20,000 right now, that's taken. That's already taken a big hit. It's, it's not going to go down much more before it bounces and starts climbing. So, um, yeah, good time to get in, guys. Uh, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but if you're, you know, if you're interested in Bitcoin and crypto and looking into it... Um, might be a good idea to, to dollar cost average and we'll talk more about that a bit later. You know, we're in the UK here right now, so you're looking at the Great British Pound GBP. It's just it's just crashed against USD. It's at the lowest levels it's ever been, ever. So this is what I'm talking about, how you know, you, me, normal people, 
we've got no control, we've got no say over what happens, you know, with, with government spending or, or anything like that. So if you look at this story by the Washington Post, Monday's upheaval was triggered by investor fears that British Prime Minister Liz Truss's proposal to increase government borrowing to pay for tax cuts will worsen inflation, which is already near 10%. So if you look at it, since since um, the government announced that they're, they're borrowing money and, you know, the, the mini budget, you know, creating tax cuts, um, that's the reason for the Great British Pound um, crashing against the US dollar. Um, you know, it's uncertain times, but um, if ever there was a, a time to, to get into Bitcoin and crypto, I would say this is it. I first got into to crypto around 2020, you know, um, I came across a company called Crypto.com. I was just um, watching YouTube one day, you know, you're seeing videos, people talking about crypto. Uh, one of the first videos or YouTubers... That I saw was Crypto Zombie, so shout out to him. shout out to him. You know I like his channel. He's doing big things. Follow him on YouTube. I came across Crypto.com. I noticed that they were coming out with a, a metal card. I was interested at the time in that metal card. I wanted to see what it was all about, and then just just through that really, um, you know, during the pandemic, knowing that f that the economy's crashing, everything's going nuts. Um, you know, just looking for another another source of income, you could say. So yeah, looking into Bitcoin. I like Crypto.com. I like I like how it looks. You know, it's a simple app. You can buy, sell, uh, you can transfer. You know, send it. Really easy to use. Low fees to no fees, depending on how you top up. If you go for the Crypto.com card, um, you know. These are the cards that they offer. I currently have the Jade Green card. Uh, let me put that up on the screen for you. Jade Green card here. Yeah, and um, it's in all honesty, it's changed the way I spend. Um, you know, I don't spend with my bank card no more. I I, I use my top up card, my crypto card. Um, yeah, really good way of, of earning crypto, really. You're getting 2% cash back on, on all purchases, really. Top up my card. If I'm going to supermarket, if I'm going to shop, you know, anything, really. Um, you get free Spotify as well. You get free Netflix. You get money back in the form of their token. Their token's known as uh, Crow. I was with them before all the, all the sponsorship deals, all the advertisements. I was in it. I was in it first. Just gonna say that you know bitcoin when i first got in it it just opened up my eyes to thinking that you know cryptocurrency is the future um you know um uh, where we are now with crypto is it we're in the beginning it's it's still a baby really it's it's, it's like 12 13 years old um so we're in the beginning stages of this new era you know, similar to when the internet first came about, you know, people were sceptical about it. People didn't think that it was going to be around for so long. But um, if you look at the adoption for cryptocurrency and how it's grown, um, you know, it's, it's here to stay. It's here to stay and it's only going to get stronger. Um, you know, the more companies that adopt it, the more countries that adopt it, you know, El Salvador using it as legal tender. Um, Dubai just put out a story that um, uh, they're going to be using it in, in the UAE. You've got big companies like MicroStrategy, um, big up Michael Saylor. He's doing big things um, with Bitcoin. He's using the company Treasury to invest in Bitcoin and he's just got massive conviction. Big companies getting involved. Even Tesla's been involved in it. So um, it's definitely here to stay. Something that I'm passionate about. So this is trading view. This is the Bitcoin chart right now. Um, so yeah, I've just been learning bits and pieces about it. So if you take a look, you know these these red and green blocks here. They're called candles. They're called candles, and this is where we are right now. This green block here. That's today, twenty seventh September. Uh, price is currently twenty thousand. 
$177. It's Bitcoin to the USD because that's what most people use when they're trading. You know, you look at uh, market psychology and everything. You, you want to be looking at what everybody else is looking at. So you've got the RSI down here. That's the Retail Strength Index. Yeah, we'll go into that more in a later video. You've got your volume down here. This is all volume. These numbers here is your TD sequential. Again, these are just words that I'm throwing out to you really, but um, we'll go into it in another video. We're slowly hitting a resistance point. You know, people started taking profits here. I've got my resistance line drawn out here, 20,400 approximately. For Bitcoin to have any kind of uh, move, it's got to break this resistance. We're going to have some more resistance here. I haven't drawn the line yet, but we're going to have more around the $21,200 mark. But um, if Bitcoin fails to reach this resistance and break, then you know you may be looking at a retrace back down to 19,700 approximately, maybe even back down to 18,900. You know, we have been near, you know, it has been near. You know, it's been as low as 18,100 recently. So that's the Bitcoin chart in a nutshell. Uh, this is the the Brave New Coin Liquid Index for Bitcoin. So this is this is Bitcoin on the monthly chart, and this is this is how it's been running since. It's only charted on here since 2011. Bitcoin began in 2009, but this is the the legacy chart. Let's say. You know, so you can see here that was a bull run top, you know, a big blow off top where there was a big massive sell off, and then we went into a bear market. Bear market ended, came back up, another blow off top, retraced down, another bear market. You know, then we had the big bull run of 2021, come back down, weren't ready yet, weren't ready for a bear market, came back up, reached an all time high. It's about $69,000 and then we're in now a massive bear market. But if you can see every time bull market, bear market, bull market, bear market, bull market, bear market, it's constantly on a on an incline. So if you go into Bitcoin over time, you'll end up being in profits. Like, well, where are we going to go next? Where are we going to go next? You know up it's only gonna go up and up and up so a lot of people's um you know goal is to is to accumulate at least one bitcoin in their lifetime and um for me yeah that's definitely um it's definitely a goal it's definitely it's definitely something to strive for and you know if you reach that goal then why stop there keep going there's something called dollar cost average you know, dollar cost average. So if you're able to put in a hundred dollars a month into Bitcoin, or if you have been doing that for the last three years, you would have put in three thousand six hundred dollars. But today, even though we're in the depths of a bear market, your three thousand dollars will be worth just under nine thousand dollars. So um and that's just putting in a hundred dollars a month. So if you take that theory, if you're able to put in, you know, twenty pounds a week. Hundred pound, hundred pound a month, if you can. Just put in bit by bit, bit by bit, and over time, you're looking at a retirement plan. You're looking at a pension. You know, you're looking at, you're looking at the money of the future. Um, you know, you'll be able to pass that down through generations. Bitcoin. So the way Bitcoin is wired in is that the very last Bitcoin is going to be mined around the year. 2140 so this will be after long after we're gone 2140 and it will be something to pass down you know if there's even a chance that it will be you know up to a million dollars that's that's mind-blowing to me that's crazy that's crazy and it, it will be another form of income so uh for me it's a no-brainer again i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is just something that I'm passionate about um, since I've got into Bitcoin you could say that it's 
changed our lives a little bit. We've been able to do certain things that we wouldn't have been able to do, you know, just with our salaries. Consider looking at it, I'd say. Um, guys, I've been talking a lot. There's a lot more that I can say on the subject, but there'll be a lot more content, a lot more videos around it. Like and subscribe for me if you found any value in today's video. You know, smash the like button for me. You know, it will help me out. Um, I'm going to leave affiliate links down um, in the description. If you choose to... If you choose to click the links and you and you go forward, it will help the channel out. So I really appreciate that. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Marchi. This is the Underdog Channel. Stay blessed. Peace.